In the jail, yeah. you spend lot of time with so-called terrorists. You spend time with Afzal Guru. You spend yeah. time with lot of mafia uh, leaders mm. or mafias yeah. from the north and from the south. Yeah. What was that experience like? Actually, Afzal Guru was not really a terrorist. I mean, uh, that was all a media. This thing, his thing. He was uh, a Sufi. He believed in Rumi. His main. Th he introduced me to Rumi's writings. And he was against the killing in, of public. Yes, he was said that uh, Kashmir is a virtual open prison, and we need our freedom. That much he felt strongly about. But otherwise, he didn't uh, believe in the throwing bombs in the public and all that. He was dead against that. And also, he wasn't a fundamental Islamic because I spoke to many fundamentalists who also were in the high risk ward of Tihar and in Hyderabad. You can't, couldn't speak to them for more than uh, five minutes or ten minutes. They just wanted to convert you to Islam. That's all they, they approach. But he would discuss Noam Chomsky. He would discuss uh, other writers, leftist writers. He would know about uh, left movement. He was an intellectual also, unlike most of the others mm -hmm. uh, who were just uh, uh, this thing. And as far as the Don goes, the Bridget Singh, I stayed a whole year and a half. He's the topmost Don, they say, in India. And there was others like Sunil Rathi who was involved. Basically, they had sort of respect because they also have some sort of uh, Robin Hood image. Though they are very feudal and ruthless also. Mm -hmm. And they've amassed huge money. Mm -hmm. But that's part of the UP feudal culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all, uh, were victims of it. And they were, as I've outlined in my book also, they were victims of it. And they also then became sort of some sort of feudal this thing. Mm -hmm. But they had a Robin Hood image, so they sort of had see, had a sneaking respect for what the, I was portrayed as a, a Naxalite and violent. Because violence for them was not an issue, they were all violent, so that was not a problem with them. But mm. uh, they had that because they themselves had that approach and I found them not positive, I mean certainly probably better than politicians, uh, that's my presentation. And Jharkhand, there was this other Don, Titu Sharma, who was even better, I mean, much more refined and things like that. Mm. And uh, basically, there was light between in the, I found with Jharkhand, because he was very helpful to me. The Naxalites there, there were about 100, 150 of them. They didn't help at all, but he helped a lot. And uh, he was in touch, he would be in the forest, he would meet them also, he would also be positive towards them. And I found in Jharkhand, Bihar, that belt. The line between business and contractors and mafia is very thin. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you can't really mm -hmm. tell the difference.